Okay, so I'm heading into the city. I'm going to meet um, Helena, Sai, and Crystal. So I am in. I am in this jumpsuit. It is a vintage jumpsuit. I think I've shown it before in another video. I love this thing. It just opens like this if you want, or you can just do it all the way up. I'm wearing the Celine uh, box bag. Well, here's a close-up view, so you can see it a little bit better on me. Um, and that is about it and it's a bit cool outside so I have to think about what I'm going to wear um, coat wise but um, anyway I got to leave so I'll show you what I end up deciding on the outerwear. <laughs> different approach with showing you what I'm wearing so it is Thursday I am heading into the city I have some kind of lash appointment I don't even know what it is lash magnetic or something I don't know anyway I do not have any mascara on I'll take you with me so we'll see what it's like together this is the H&M high-waisted wide leg jeans I've had these for a while now here's the bottom of them as you can see they're quite like Got a culotte, raw edge at the bottom, and I've got on the Uniqlo polo neck. I talked to you a lot about this from the um, sweater video, and then this is, um, I think this is an H&M, this is an H&M old coat. It's really super soft, and I love how slim these arms are on it, and then the Celine box bag, so just a lot of black and white really, and just... <laughs> my yoga pose the ash um ugly sneakers i'm off hair same as usual so i went to an event last night for sax and i'm going to shoot this carolina herrera dress now i'm wearing um just a pair of converses with them at the moment i'm going to switch to those high heel manalo blanics the purple ones and uh carrying the mark cross bag vintage pendant and that's it oh i'm going to be wearing my chloe's as well i love this dress look at this this part here Another day, another outfit, heading out to do a shoot, and I'm in, this is all Reese. This coat, it's like a sky blue color, which is reminiscent of my suede trench coat, the vintage trench coat, but actually this one is in 100% wool. I think it's 100% wool. If it's not, I'll put it on the screen. And this Reese top, this sweater, which has got like these diagonal lines on it, like diamond shape. I believe a UK 12, where I should have gone down, but at least you get the idea of them. Really ultra long. I've got trainers on with them at the moment and a vintage bag, but I'll uh, probably switch out to snakeskin boots, the Zara snakeskin boots, because that looks really good with this and it kind of just edges it, which is, puts the Karen stamp on it. Anyway, I'll talk to you a lot later. Another day heading out. Hello, everybody. I am, oh God, absolute mess back there. Anyway, I am in vintage coat uh rachel comey you know those rachel comey jeans wide leg flared jeans and the vintage bag that i picked up from the manhattan vintage show look at this how gorgeous is that bag turtleneck is uniqlo and this is my mum's pendant how gorgeous is this pendant that she gave me and i'm going to be going out in my chloe sunglasses these are actually navy they look black on the screen i think but... OK, 
okay so i need to run out to a meeting in the city i'm quickly showing what i'm in under the stories jacket from last year this is i'm not sure i think this is actually from zara it's got like three gold studs on the cuff um but this bomber jacket i love it um this is the under the stories um high-waisted cool um uh, wide leg pants that I showed you before and then on my feet a pair of Zara ankle boots glasses are the Chloe's but that is me right now with all the crap behind that I need to get sorted bit of a different video today we are going to here Stormville Airport Antique Show and Flea Market so this is their website and I cannot wait to see what it's like look at that aerial view anyway I'm going to take it up with me and we'll see what it's like so we're ready to go vintage um, I call this my penny lane coat Uniqlo jumper and the jeans are made well. I've got a pair of Converse's on and um, I'll definitely gonna take a couple of photos in there, but I'm gonna switch to a pair of boots. Oh, wait till you see the boots though. Anyway, <sighs> so excited. So we're just parking but it's just back there oh i can't wait <laughs> look how nice it is back here as well <gasps> look all of that is what we're going to go to this is 25 like a cape and you just wear it over like a big jumper boots and a pair of jeans just gorgeous look at that color it's stunning all right we should go <laughs> Suzanne has invited me to check out the um, current fall collection so I'm going to have a look at that and um, I'm currently looking I am still looking for a camel coat I think I may have mentioned this to you before 
um it's something that is the one hole in my wardrobe as far as like coats are concerned it's a nice camel coat of all the great coats that i have which i do have a lot as you already know um i've always wanted a nice camel coat and i haven't found one yet um i think it's one of those things i think is just going to find me but i will have a look today take you a look with me and see if i find it if i do i if i do great that'll be perfect if i don't i don't i'm not going to force it we'll just we'll see if it happens anyway so i am wearing vintage trench coat it's in this gorgeous chocolate brown color reese uh, knitwear and it's well i'm wearing it back to front it's actually a deep v-neck and i've got the v-neck at the back um the jeans are from bowden it's their short cropped kick flare ones which i'll show you a little bit that is the ankle boot there love these and then i've got the gucci um bag on and that is it oh and i'm gonna wear my chloe's as well So this is the new collection with Suzanne. This is an absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is why I like autumn so much. It's all these yummy colors. And you know how much I like brown and blues. So this is like perfect um, display for me. Oh, these are nice. Got these sailor pants and jeans. Oh, Karen, put down the corduroy. You know how I feel about corduroy. Well, if you've ever wanted one, they have a matching set. Okay, so I'm in the fitting room and I'm going to try these on. This coat, the sailor pant, which is a denim material, wide leg, and these wide leg checked houndstooth pants as well. They very kindly said I could pick two pieces from their collection, so I'm going to try these on for you so you can see what they look like. Oh, and this jumper as well. Okay, so the coat is really cute, but it's too small for me. I've got very broad shoulders, so it feels like... It's definitely too tight but also i think for me i'd rather you know how i am with coats i always look for something that's got a bit more wow factor so i won't get this but it's good if you're looking for like a classic coat i think oh and just so you know the material composition because i know you guys have asked me before it is 80 percent wool and 20 percent polyamide oh and i tried on the 38 so and i usually i'm a us six but i usually always go up a couple of sizes again because of my broad shoulders here are the pants a little bit on the tight side and that is a 38 because look at the back booty for days yeah maybe not okay the pants are amazing um yeah i think i'm good i love these these are really love cool them. I love are the really, material too, they're so comfy. Yeah, these are really, really good. I love these. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, because they're really like kind of woolen, um, high-waisted. These I'm going to take, ignore the top with it. I would wear something slimmer, but I do like these pants. I've really been getting into like wide leg pants lately and these are, these are good. Just tried on this sweater which is fine there's nothing wrong with it i love the color that's why i tried it on but the neck i prefer that you know like a crew neck that's why i like polo neck so much um so yeah so this kind of slash neck thing is not really me this a bit too tight on me and not only that i think it's it's a beautiful coat if you're looking for like a a darker version of a camel coat i like this and being it's 80 percent wool i think that's a that's a good one um it's like a shorter length so if you're petite and you want something um that's more proportional this might work on you and you won't feel overwhelmed or even if you're taller um and you just want something that's more like a car coat and isn't like floor length but it's almost like a almost like a giant blazer effect but very warm then this would definitely fit the bill okay so just tried on this jumper that they brought to me which i prefer because of the neck um it is i think it's 40 percent 
wool, 32% merino wool, and then the other percentage is, is something else. So it's extremely warm. Um, it does have an itchy factor too, not enough to maybe bother me. But look, you can see the hair, look at that. Look at that, tell me you can't see that fuzz. Do you know what, I actually don't mind the frill. So I like that it's optional, that you can leave it on or not. Um, but this is just what I'm looking for. This is a medium, so I'm not sure if I should stick with this or if I should go down on a size. Um, but this is gonna be it. I'm gonna take this because I know that I lack neutral colored plain jumpers like collar is 100% cotton and the jumper is 100% merino wool this is me OOTD I need a mirror like this at home don't I but anyway this is what I'm wearing today um, yeah this is a much better picture yeah that's it 2019 Karen's got to find a mirror big enough and with enough light like this all right let me get out of here because people can hear me talking to myself so since I'm still looking for a camel coat I'm gonna pop into here and see if I see one you know how I love housing works Let's see what they're like versus the high street. Oh, thank you. Right, good old stories. Let's see what kind of camel coats they've got. Oh, I do like that blazer. Yeah, not what I'm looking for. I'm not after so much detail. I'm looking for something very, very plain um, and much more kind of masculine than this. Also, it feels a little bit on the thin side. Okay, next usual suspect is mango. But do they have camel coats in here? You would think they would, wouldn't you? No camel coats, really. At least not in the shop. Hmm. So at H&M, I just saw this, but it feels woefully thin. And also, I don't like these stoppers, like these fasteners. I think they look really cheap on it. Um, it's $59.99, which is an excellent price for a coat, but it's quite thin. It feels lovely, but it's very, very thin. No. This is gorgeous. Oh, feels good too. It's like a teddy slash faux fur coat. It is, oh, it's extra small, wow. This one's huge, that's extra small. What's, no price on it. Oh, it's free. No, it's not. <laughs> it's $1.29 for it. But this feels fantastic. What a difference to what I just saw. Not in the market for that, but if you are, this is a good one. I love that giant size collar as well. Ooh, way too short. I can already tell. I know what I'm looking for. I want something very long, oversized. Um, for my height, 5'7", this is not going to be it. All Saints, unlined. They said it's unlined so you can layer it with things, but I don't know. If I'm buying a coat, I want it to be able to stand as is. Aritzia, let's see what you like. Definitely no to that style. A bit too narrow on the shoulders. Not liking the stitching idea. More like that teddy style again. Got way too many things in my hands, haven't I? Yeah, I'm not liking that contrasting stitch detail. It doesn't feel nice enough. They do have a lot of camel stuff though. Bloody hell. It's everywhere. Or is it just the same? They just placed it everywhere. Another unlined seems to be the thing. 
I'm at Uniqlo. Let's see if they do camel coats. Bloody hell, they do a ton of puffers. Uniqlo shines though this time of the year. But let's see. You know I was in here already for the sweater video. Oh god, those jumpers are so good. Oh, and they've got crew necks, and I need crew necks. Let me try and stay focused. Cashmere coats, 149. Really? It doesn't feel like it though. Oh, they have camel. Let's see what their version is like. Oh, no. It doesn't feel like cashmere for a start. Look, it says luxurious blend of cashmere and premium wool. It doesn't feel that way at all. Not to me. Um, that's a medium. I would say this runs a little bit on the big side. And again, it's nothing really that special. What the heck is that? Popping into a thrift shop. Been in here before. Oh, look at those sexy numbers. I mean, it's potluck when you come to these places, but you never know. too short going through just to go straight to the color that I'm looking for they've got some dotted in mm, too thin I tell you it's not easy finding the perfect one Let's see what they've got here this looks a bit too brown yeah wrong color I want camel <laughs> this looks too pale and looks just a bit meh This fits, but look at the arms. I mean, that is so short on me. Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to find a nice camel coat. Oh, that's not bad. It's Italian too. Is it? Yeah. That's, uh, what kind of color is that? It's like a... It's a camel too. It's a brown. I was looking for this kind of camel. Okay. You know what I mean? But, but this is nice though. Let me try this one on. You always know what I like. <laughs> I know. He always looks out for me. I do like it. God, he knows me so well. See how it's like this on the sleeves? I like that. Let me see. Oh, wow. Nah, that's too much for me. Drum roll. 90% pure new wool and 10% cashmere. It's not camel. I know it's not camel. It's a nice coat to sort of get lost in size-wise. <gasps> Burberry vintage trench coat found at a thrift shop. Another one. And you wonder why I come to these places. This is so good. Wow. That is huge. Oh, and it's bubbling. Oh, oops. A bit too unflattering of you there. That looks really good, babe. Thank you. Thank you. That looks outstanding though. How about my fried shrimp tempura? What about it? It's like, where do you start? So I'm home. This is a really weird sort of slight vloggy video. And I also took you on looking for a camel coat. The search is not really over. So it's really a case of watch the space, but. Okay, so can you see me? Yes, you can see me fine. Um, oh, also this suede trench, this is from that same thrift shop. Right, so I'll take off the bag color of this bag though oh it's just ridiculous it also comes in a smaller size by the way if you don't want a review about this bag let me know um i could do one for you what i typically fit inside my bags code for 
I want to know your business and see what you carry but I am willing to do that for you let me know and if you want me to style it as well I can also do that but I don't know if there's enough people who want to see that about this particular you know the Gucci mom on back because it's not like the bag of the season anymore and i don't know i kind of like the fact that it's not if that makes any sense um so if that appeals to enough of you leave a comment below saying yeah karen do me do me a full review and what's my what's in my bag of this gucci mama and the size of it as well anyway that's not what this video is about and you know i'm wearing the reese jumper and i'm just wearing it back to front anyway so this is it Properly. I just really like it. I like how oversized, see I love that oversized look. There's a mirror here. Um, I really like it. and I love how long it is right here on my foot as well. Which is why, that's the main reason I like it, is because it's warm, but it's extremely lightweight. Um, I'm still probably gonna be on the search for the right camel coat because I don't know, I feel like it's something that I just have always wanted. But um, it's one of those things that's gonna to come to me. I'm not gonna force myself like I did with the sweaters where I just kind of like power shopped. Um, this is gonna be a slow burn find. So we'll see over the next few weeks um, what happens and what comes to me. We'll just do it like that. And I'll just make a point to hopefully keep my vlogging camera on me so you can see that. Anyway, this is a really sort of like different video because it's not on a specific subject. It's just taking me, taking you around with me a little bit and seeing what I've been up to for the past few days. What else did I want to say in this video? I do have some more new pieces that have come in, but um, they're all pre-loved pieces. So it's all vintage and secondhand pieces. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do it in this video. I think I'm gonna save it for another video. Um, do I want to do it in this one? No, I'm not going to. I'll do it in another one. All right, so I am off for now. Um, have a great one. Let's look at this again, shall we? Oh, God, the color of this bag. It's just the color. The color. God, I look really sweaty right now, don't I? I don't think there's anything else I want to say except have a good week, my loves, and I will see you next week, Friday. Um, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, you're probably thinking, what the hell kind of channel is this? I'll see you guys next week, Friday, because I do videos every single Friday. This is good. <laughs> I like it. Right, I'm off. Bye. Follow me on Instagram, Karen Britchick there as well. Posting videos, posting videos, oh God. What else someone say? I'm dancing to fill in space. All right, so, um, all right, so what? <laughs> it's over a year of consistent YouTubing and I still can't end the flipping video. This whoa, 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 for the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you.